Welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Yankees going up against the New York Mets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. Today's starting pitcher, Max Scherzer. Always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing. Well, Boog, along with great stuff that he has, he has consistency. I mean, this guy's got a proven track record. You know when he takes the ball and goes out there to compete, he's going to give you everything he's got. Unload the tank, try to pitch deep into the ball game, and he almost always finds a way to make it very tough on opposing lineups, even when he doesn't have his best stuff, and that is the mark of a true competitor. On the ground, and that one handled. Throw to first, great stretch, and they got him. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, got step it. out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And here is Anthony Rizzo. There's a strike at Singy as a team you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you right absolutely and, and you know if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early once they really settle in it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. And there's a ball. With Max, you're always thinking about the strikeout. Chris, he's one of three guys along with Clemens and Randy Johnson to strike out 20 in a game. Yeah, and with his delivery and release point, sometimes it seems like that fastball is rising, has a little upshoot to it, real deception for the hitter, along with pretty good velocity. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. It's the Yankees 0, Mets coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Queens, on the hill here today, Garrett Cole. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Brandon Nimmo stands in now and watches strike one. That misses, and that's ball one. The pitch. Out towards left center, Volpe on the move. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Here's a Mets lineup now, and the key to victory for them here, get their starter some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Here's Starling Marte, and that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Garrett Cole, Chris, a guy who was the first overall pick out of UCLA, in 2011 and he's turned into one of the best starters in baseball yeah it's pretty cool how things came full circle for him drafted by the Yankees out of high school Go didn't sign as you said went to UCLA and now pitching the number one guy in the rotation for New York one down base is empty that's a strike and he married 
another UCLA player's sister, Brandon Crawford. He's married to Brandon's sister, Amy. Pitch misses three there. Three point. balls and a strike. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Marte over at first with one away. Cola check to first. Marte dives back in. The 1 0. Good eye right there. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Pick off move to first, and he's back safely. Here comes a pitch. Marte of the move. Pitch misses. Throw to second. Ow! Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. Swing and a miss, and it's three and one. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And yeah, the right-hander's 3-1. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out three bases at this rate. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. A couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonzo. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs, Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the University of Florida. He was teammates there with Harrison Bader. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. And now it's 1-2. and two. Just missed. It's a good take. At the belt and fires. Now a screamer into the outfield. Judge puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. Mets leave one, scoreless after one. Back here at the ballpark, Leading second inning game. set to go. John Carlos Stanton to the John plate Carlo. now. Stanton. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. So here's Scherzer. And that one fouled off. Got him. And one gone. Well, oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Here's Glaber Torres. There's a strike. Scherzer, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a slurve, and occasionally uses a cutter. 
That one, one misses. One ball, one strike. One Dave ball, Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Line drive, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Canna whips it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And at second with one away. Here's Josh Donaldson. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Runner at second here. One gone. Scherzer deals. And a strike. Scherzer ahead one and two. Good eye right there. Kicks and fires. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two out. Now here's Aaron Hicks. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. On the ground to the left. Escobar with the throw to first. That's out number three. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. Jeff McNeil stands in. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. That nope. one misses. Okay. Two balls, no strikes to count. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Ripped, but it curls foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch in this next one. And it's even up. Now the count filled up three and two. In the air, right field. Stant should have this one. Calls it in, and there's one away. Here's Mark Canna. Strike one. On one. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Towards first, Rizzo. 
A flip to the pitcher covering. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Daniel Vogel back at the plate. On the ground to third and foul ball. And he deals. That's a strike. And the count is 0 2. Struck him out swinging. Some high cheese for strike three. And the Mets go down 1 2 3. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning, leading off Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. The pitch. That one missed. And a good eye there. That's in for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Fly ball down the line. Canna ranges to his right. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one down. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Top of the third, no score. This ball's chopped on the ground, and it goes just foul. Strike two. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. In the dirt. On to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. You know, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. A good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. LeMayhew oh, takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Foul ball there. And a 1 1. Way high. Two and one now. Scherzer deals. Good eye in that spot. Aaron Judge to bat next. Two outs. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first. And then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Judge in the box now. No balls and a strike. LeMayhew, the runner at first with two gone. And Judge spoils that one. 
Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. And here comes an 0-2 to Judge. One Next ball. offering is outside. Not close with that one. Ball two. Stays alive. Fights it off. You'll see another. And see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Kicks and deals. And another ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Anthony Rizzo up next. Three balls, two strikes to count. And ball four, and Judge takes his walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. No advance. Good job behind the dish. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting the ground ball and getting out of this little jam. Yeah, the right hater deals. And now it's filled up. Giancarlo Stanton in the on deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. the frame he's in a tough spot had to make a great pitch did it got the strikeout gets out of the jam clearly he's happy with those results Check swing. Oh, he held up, and it's one to know. There's a strike. The one one. And fouled off. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. Batting up. The catch it. Omar Narvaez at the plate. in there for strike one.
And that one missing low. I got a ball, one strike. And a swing and a miss. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Ground ball, left side. And a 1-2. Swings through it for the K. The high heat, too much on that one. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Nimmo in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Glide out his first time. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's a strike. The wind and the pitch. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a play, and he reaches safely. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Handled that down and in breaking ball very well. I saw the break early coming from the other side and just let it get deep enough and drop the barrel on it at the very last moment. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Marte now at the plate as he swings through strike one. The next offering misses, and that is ball one. Nimmo leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch is outside. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And the righty deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And a pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. And that is the inning. Met strand one, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at City Field, and now Giancarlo Stanton. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. And here it comes. And downstairs. That's a strike across the top of the zone. And there's a ball. Pitch misses there, three and one. Glaber Torres in the on deck circle. The three one. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Three two. 
This one in the air right field. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Now a move being made at second base. Entering is the pinch runner, Franchi Cordero. Glaber Torres up to the plate, doubled in his first A.B. And a foul ball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The 0 1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Going to now. And that's downstairs and outside. One ball, two straight. Runner at second, nobody out. Line drive, caught! Well, baseball can be cruel, cool, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. One, no strikes. And a pitch. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. That clips the zone, and a count one and two. One out, and a runner at second. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. Tap back up the middle. Toss to Alonzo. And they take care of Donaldson for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Aaron Hicks. Over one so far. Line drive, that's a base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and it's 1-0. Comes through with the RBI. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Jose Trevino. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And there's a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. In there, and it's 0-1. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Next offering is downstairs. Hicks, the lead runner out at second. Trevino on at first with two down. Pitch is in there. That is strike two. One ball, two strikes. Strike three, got him swinging. 
Good job at damage control right there. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. Now into the ball game on defense, Franchi Cordero. He takes over and right. Nobody out. Lindor is a chance to tie it. He reached out a walk his first time. Cole back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Here's your one. Check swing, and that's a ball. And you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. And a swing and a miss. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. And that just misses. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. And that one finds its way through. And that puts the tying run on base. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off the stride too much. Making a move at first. And here's the pinch runner, Tim Locastro. Yeah. Here's Pete Alonso. He's all for one. And a foul ball. Runner at first with no outs here. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Righty to the plate. That one clips the outside corner. That's strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. And a pitch. Foul ball still, one and two count. Nobody out, runner at first. Next offering misses, and the count is even, two and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. And there he goes. There's a ball. And that's a stolen base, not even close. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Gassed it right by him. I well, love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Over one, he flat out to right in his first trip. In there for strike one. Runner leads away at second. And that's in for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Squirts away a little bit and an excellent job keeping it right there.
And it's second. In the air, center field. Judge is there. Brings it in. Runner tagging for third. In there. He's safe. Was able to move the runner up to third on that deep fly to center, but I think this point, he wants to get him over and get him in. Mark Canna up now for the Mets. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. A laser to left base hit. In from third is the tying run. It's 1-1. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Here's Daniel Vogel back. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Canna off of first with two away. Next offering is down low. And that one is in for a strike. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. Eduardo Escobar waiting for a turn at the plate. Three one now, and he takes a strike. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. The belt and fires. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So one run in the inning on this base hit. All even now at 1-1. Back after this on the show. So coming into the game now on defense, Tim Locastro. He's in at shortstop. DJ LeMayhew stepping in now for the Yankees. The pitch. And that one upstairs. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count one and one. Next offering is foul back. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Next one misses. Two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. That misses the zone. Counts full three and two. Aaron Judge on deck for the Yankees.
Back to work. 3-2 now. In the air, left side. Canna puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Here comes Aaron Judge, known for his late inning heroics. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good eye right there. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Here comes a pitch. And there's a strike of the outside corner. Two and one now. And Judge spoils that one. And a pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Next offering misses down and away. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Nimmo has it sized up. Drops into the glove. And there's two down. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch and he just misses. Right-hander kicks deals. That's in there. And it's one and one. Left-hand hitter waits. Bounce to the right side. He'll do it himself. And that's the third out. Yanks held in check. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here in Queens, here's the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And ball one. Foul ball. And he deals. Got the back going too soon at strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Righty delivers. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, boy. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Next to hit, Omar Narvaez. This one high in the air to left center. And Aaron makes a nice grab out there. The center field, number nine, Brandon Nimmo. Here's Brandon Nimmo, one for two. 
Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. That's in there, and that is strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Laser, base hit. Escobar is waved home. In comes the winning run, and the Mets walk it off for the win. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. The final line for the